This video is brought to you by Moshi, purveyor of electronics fashion and maker of the new Claris premium dual driver earphones. Visit MoshiAudio.com to learn more. Hey, Andrew Gash here with Audioholics. AirPlay has been a technology that we've been extremely impressed with. Now, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, it's bound to be a part of your life if you're buying current AV products and love the idea of streaming music wirelessly. Logitech just released their first AirPlay-enabled speaker, the Logitech UE Air Speaker. Now, the UE is a Logitech's abbreviation for a company they purchased back in 08 called Ultimate Ears. The Air Speaker, which looks kind of like the business end of a hammerhead shark, is a pretty cool-looking uh, device with minimal buttons and an integrated iPhone iPod dock that retracts into the base when not used. The real attraction of this product is the AirPlay functionality and easy setup. You really just need an iPhone or an iPod which docks into the speaker, and then it immediately prompts you to download the free app from the App Store, and after you get the app, you dock your iPod or iPhone, and it configures the speaker for you automagically. That's, that's right, automagically. That includes connecting to your Wi-Fi network, though you will need to, of course, enter your password if you have one, and you should have one. The app itself is nothing to write home about, but then again, that's because it does all of its magic behind the scenes. On the front end, it lets you configure bass and trouble settings and also shows you the Wi-Fi strength of the air speaker. And that's about it. And to listen to music, you just open up iTunes or whatever music app you like and hit the AirPlay Connect button, which will allow you to select the Logitech speaker for the output of your iOS device's audio. And there's no hard remote control. And you know what? It doesn't need one. Now, we listened to tracks from ELO, The Eagles, Toto. I was in a classic rock type of mood. Now, the soundstage wasn't very wide, but we really liked how it made vocals sound, particularly Don Henley, which has a lot of texture. Now, the tone of the air speaker is really pleasing, and we never got tired of listening like we do sometimes with these wireless products. The mix was kind of thick with lots of mid-bass, but we also loved that we could crank the volume all the way up, and there wasn't a lot of uh, audible distortion. It played pretty loud indoors, too, louder than you'd likely want unless you happen to be throwing a rave in your living room. How loud? Uh, about 90 dB, C weighted at 8 feet, and um, that was with the uh, compressed music. Yeah, it's, it's plenty loud. So that's about it. Uh, on the top, you got simple controls, mute, volume, and power. There's an Ethernet jack in the back if you want to hardwire it, and an eighth inch jack if you don't have an iOS device. But honestly, AirPlay is what really makes this speaker cool. You can even set up AirPlay with a computer if needed, though it's a lot more involved. Now we're gonna drop the other shoe. The air speaker costs $400. It's like the only negative thing we can say about it. It's an impressive wireless AirPlay enabled speaker. We just hope that you can afford it. One thing's for sure, it'll beat the pants off that overpriced clock radio you see advertised on late night infomercials. No, it's, it's, a, it's a four letter word. I can't say it on TV. Never mind. Hey, if you like AirPlay, then hit the like button on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. If you don't like AirPlay, then just write a comment. And tell us why not. Also, like us on Facebook.com slash Audioholics and follow us. Twitter, Audioholics Live.